All right, it's the rundown Tuesday, June 13th. It's brought to you by Movement Watches. Join the movement, Riggsy did. We got watches that are high quality, they're fashionable, they look sharp, they're lightweight, they're quality. They should be 400 bucks, they should be 500 bucks. Nope, they start at just $95. They range up to like 130, depending on if you want the leather band, the metal band, this face, that face. They got a bunch of different selections, a bunch of different choices, all sorts of different styles. So they got you covered if you're a watch guy. They also have sunglasses. I've been rocking the sunglasses. So they get you covered for all your accessories for the summer. Very nice. sharp, you want to hide your hangover with your eyes. Yeah, you know, it's a like, classic. Like, like sunglasses are a fashion accessory, but they're also a necessity. Oh yeah, they're a great Sunday move. Right. Well, just stumble right. around town. Yeah. It's Sunday. Yeah. Right. What are you doing on Sunday? I just yeah, Trent's at home and reading books. Being yeah. like, well, you know. No, I've been watching. I've been watching Star Wars. That's what I do with my Sunday. Oh, you're getting Octagon on that Star Bob Wars gave train. me all of his DVDs, and I've been watching them. I've never seen them before. Yeah, that's, you that's like, crazy. You sneaky kind of got away with like a Star Wars take that I thought people were going to bury you for. We were like, I can't believe people saw this. The reason I got away with it is because it was right. If what people, I said the people who in, saw the movie in 1977 weren't like, fuck this shit, is amazing. Because that movie is ridiculous. <laughs> like it, th- it, is. it just throws you into the middle and everybody was just like, yeah, this well, is no. great. You it's know like, what? No. I think no. in 76, it was like the coolest thing they've ever seen on a, on a screen. Right. That was like, a huge part of it. But like, who cares now? And, but I said that and somebody was like, what do you mean? You got to elaborate. It's like, there's a guy that looks like a dog who walks around. They're in spaceships. There are all these planets that nobody knows what they are. But like the thing is, it's been so long. How did you not like? How are you not pretty aware of like that? That's what it was. No, but see, I'm aware of it in the context that it's a huge thing. Yeah. But if people saw it in 1977, we're just like, yeah, let's keep watching this stuff. It's crazy. Then I mean, I think when it like premiered, I think there was like it was already going bananas. What's they that? were already like dressing up at the theater yeah. and shit back then. I thought I was gonna get killed for it too. And yeah, I mean, I, was, I like I made one comment one time that like I thought the the first three movies weren't too bad, and like Clem Robbie to brought Clem me. in to like <laughs> yeah. fight me at my yeah. desk. Yeah. No, Bob, I took Rob, that picture. Oh boy, you, come here. <laughs> oh Jesus, this is a little impromptu Star Wars. I just, I, right I just gotta make sure nobody's saying anything that they shouldn't say. You, how you come you didn't jump down though? his throat? Because I no, I agree. I agree with him. It's a ridiculous concept, but it worked out. Yeah, I did, I mean, that's what I. That's what I mean. It worked out for George Lucas and the gang. Yeah. Yeah. I was texting. I texted you before I even put that tweet out. Yeah. You, were like, I you made twenty of these fucking movies. There's there's merchandise. There's t- there's clothes. There's movies. Well, and he, the fact he, that like Chewy, yeah, like and everyone's yeah. like, yeah, this is great. It's like what? Yeah. what? Some yeah. weird as shit, man. Really weird shit. Let's just not say anything we shouldn't say, right? Okay. Star Wars is great. Everything I said was right. And you Let's just watch the tone. And, and you all yeah. know Let's that you work with an out. MMA fighter, right? Shut the fuck up. Let's just make sure. Get out of here. Get out. Have a good rundown. Oh. God it's damn it, Riggs. Pal. It's good. Um, oh, we're good? All okay. right. So anyway. Moving <laughs> watches. Uh, MVMT. Watches.com slash rundown. You're going to get 15% off your order, free shipping, and if you need to for any reason, free returns. MVMTwatches.com slash rundown. The NBA Finals wrapped up, so we've got our basketball experts for play on the show Hello. today. Uh, round ball experts. Round ball. Round Riggsy ball round ball. Yeah, Riggsy Riggsy round ball. That's uh, what they're calling me. He has a take for us, apparently. He said before no. the round started, I've got, a, I've got basketball takes. Basically, the premise of me being excited about my basketball takes was that I actually watched like the last quarter of the game. So you just have something to say. So I like, I observed what everyone else observed, basically. Mm-hmm. I'm pumped for Kevin Durant. Okay, oh. <laughs> your, your thoughts. I'm fucking jacked Your up. thoughts on KD well, and the Warriors. Well, fuck everyone that's like, you know, oh, he just joined the, the 73 win team. Blah, blah. But, he, but he did do that. But my point, the, the thing is, it's it's not like he pulled like a, like there, people are trying to say that he did something equivalent to like Henrik Lundqvist joining the Penguins as like a backup goalie and then riding the tail. No, he, yeah. Joining the Stanley Cup. He came yes. in and he took a team that lost last year to the Cavs and this year they fucking beat him because he was there. Yeah, no, so I'm with you on that. If he wasn't the star of the team, it would be a lot different. If right. he was riding Curry's coattails, yes. people would be saying a lot of different things. But since he was the man, he's the guy that stepped up and carried him all the way. It's a very different story. Car- Carmelo Anthony is going to ride someone's coattails at the end of his career for a title. And, and that's that is a different, different story. Right. He stepped up and put up like 38, 8, 5, 2, and 2 and won the MVP. It is, yes, you can't escape the fact that he joined the best regular season team of all time. It's not exactly like he tried to go the hard route, but he did his thing. Also, as someone who doesn't watch a ton of basketball, he makes scoring look very easy. <laughs> yeah. He puts the ball in the basket with relative ease. It's yes. like Doesn't starting. take much effort for KD. <laughs> no. Uh, what he doesn't do very easily is drink beer. His celebration afterwards, it looked like he was touching a can of anything for the first time. 
cracks it open, takes a sip, <laughs> spits it out he like it was like, poison, <laughs> like it was like, you know, you're drinking like, for the first time ever. He yeah. looked like Paige Brannick doing the yep. shotgun when we did our yep. video. So, Never a good thing to be compared to like a little blonde girl trying to shotgun a beer when yeah. you're Kevin Durant. Also, if you're gonna, he knows he doesn't like beer, obviously, right? Just like stone cold it, you're celebrating. Yeah. It's yeah, not like you yeah. need to really drink the fucking beer. Right, he like kind of like sipped it, but the, the big mistake is like beer is not meant to be shaken. And Pat McAfee has proved this when he does his crazy smash thing, yeah. and then try, none of it goes in his mouth no, anywhere just, near it. It explodes just like and disappears. Total That's chaos. Kind of my point, though. Right. So do it that. should have been like all over the body, face. Right. He was like, shake, 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 drink. Oh my God, this is pure foam. Um, fuck. It was and awesome. Then it, was, it, was it was like bad. a fucking fountain. <laughs> uh, and then there was LeBron's post game afterwards. Um, there's really not much to talk about the game itself, to be honest. No. The Warriors went no. up 15. I thought they were gonna blow it open, win by like 30. Yeah. Uh, team Swish, Jr. kept it close. But there was really, they never had any shot. LeBron didn't play an ounce of defense. <laughs> we all knew it was going to happen. They won. Uh, the post game afterwards, LeBron gets a question about uh, super teams. And he says, I don't know what a super team is. I've never played for one. Um, no, not really. I don't, I don't believe I've played for a super team. Uh, I don't believe in that. Okay. Um, I believe we're a super team here. Um, so, no, I don't really, I don't. It's tough. What does that it's mean? It's a tough line. What yeah. does that mean? Yeah, that was Caleb. We talked <laughs> about it. Caleb's exact reaction on the radio was like, what are you talking right, about? Right, like, that's, like, such a blatant lie that I don't even know how to, like, process yeah, it like, and have a reaction to it. It's like when he says he doesn't flop, and then there's yes. millions of videos of him flopping all the place. Right. LeBron just lives in this dif different reality where he can lie and lie and lie, and nobody's going to really call him on it. It's very true. Yeah, uh, watching. It's a good comparison. Dave had embedded the uh, video of like the whole celly when they when they rolled those guys out yep. in Miami. I hadn't really watched it since then, and how preposterous it was. That a was. circus. It was like they put the circus on. Yeah. It was like he has to be a psychopath to make that comment yeah. after they did right. that. I mean, like if he if he just joined those the team. Listen, when you have two major free agents, the two premier free agents sign in the one place with already a pre-existing Hall of Famer, it's a super team. But if you were to just sign and just kind of keep it low key. It'd be one thing, but yeah. you said you were going to win eight championships. Yeah. He and did you the threw decision. a rally he in did, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that insane. is super team shit. Now, the flip side is, I don't think there's any problem with trying to make your team as good as possible. Like the current no. Cavs, no. they're not a super team because they got their doors blown off, but they drafted a player, they, they traded for Kevin Love, and then they signed LeBron. Those are the ways that you build a team, drafts, trades, and free agency. If you do all those things and you have a good team, I don't think that should be it should be like a negative connotation. No. What the Warriors did, they built their team internally yeah. as well. They went and added the best free agent available to an incredible team. I don't want to knock it, but I understand why people are going to be like, fuck that. But the idea that making your team as good as possible is like not what you're trying to do is getting stupid. Do you think, do you think LeBron believes what he's saying? Or do you think he knows he's lying? Coley, what do you think? Do you think he's like... Delusional to the. He lives, he, he's been getting told he's, whatever he, he wants have any since no he was twelve. People. Right, he's yeah. one of those guys that doesn't have any no people. He's a big like fantasy world guy. Like yeah. he, he, he doesn't in, live on the same planet as us. Planet LeBron. Like, he does not understand. Like I, I truly like he when his last memory of, of Miami is the exact same thing that happened last night. They got dusted four one by the Spurs. So he probably thinks that Miami team like was it was just we him losers. carrying yeah, like yeah. a bunch of scrubs. Right. Like he had Hall of Famers coming off the bench for that team. Like he probably in his mind was like, yeah, Miami were worse than like my first run in Cleveland. Right. Where do you stand on LeBron? I feel like like if you had to pick right now, are you a LeBron guy or are you a LeBron hater? If you had to pick an extreme, coming which into, I know is not reasonable, but where would you fall? Coming into the season, I had him like sixth all time, and then after this series, I moved him up to third. Even though they got their doors blown off yeah. after the series, you just did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it was like I think you said it the other day with another basketball take. Maybe not you. I don't know. Riggs Seems Rumble. unlikely. Yeah, Riggs probably not. Now that I'm running through what I'm about to say, like, Riggs definitely didn't say this. But uh, where like LeBron's baseline is just like. Incredible, and you take it for granted, and then everyone you, you need Kyrie to play and, and love. I definitely play. didn't but say that's, that. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know <laughs> why. Seems, I don't even know what you're talking about. Riggs giving some in depth. Riggs like, who's Kyrie? I, 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 I just had this, I had this <laughs> picture of Riggs doing his thing with his arms out. Like, LeBron gives you 35, 10, and 10. Uh, Dan yeah. said that, yeah. Uh, okay. You're smart. You don't take that for granted. A lot of people do, so I could see where they're like well, knocking thanks. him down on a peg for this. Series when I think you should be getting bumped up. Yeah, well, first of all, thank you for the compliment, Kevin. It was very kind of you. Mm -hmm. uh, the so, press conference moment between just, Windhorse and. You stop talking, Cole. Yeah. So, well, Trent, Trent's going to talk now. Roommate Trent. I don't know where that was going, but the Windhorse uh, press conference thing that Dave, the video Dave, that's insanity. Yeah, that no. was weird. Yeah, you have a sense of history about this. You have a triple double in the finals, never been done before. You referenced maybe the best 
Is this your best series you've ever played? Suck his dick more, Winhorst. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, this is um. LeBron told him ass that. My eighth trip to the finals. What do you like, think of the chances that Winhorst has given LeBron oral sex? I, yeah, <laughs> I was about to finish that sentence for you. It's high. Like high. high. I don't think it's if it's how many times. Yeah, yeah like how like how good? Like how yeah. much did he really go into? They're it? really he's been oh hard. Like he's pumped. <laughs> <laughs> Hard was a little, probably not the greatest. <laughs> All allegedly. It's getting of a weird. Erect. Rigor mortis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, LeBron, Le, like, I, everyone else saying LeBron played well is one thing. Him being like, this is probably the best I've ever played in the yeah, finals. That was great. And you're getting your doors blown off. Like, not great. Can't not say a great that. look. That's a, that's a question. Win horse, like, is this the best you ever played? You have to just say, doesn't really matter how I played. We lost. He looks so accepting of, like, the outcome. Correct. Well, it, which was. Uh, you know who well, answers that correctly? Tom Brady. Yes, probably. I guess so, yeah. yeah Giselle would blame everyone else. Tom would nail it on the head. I, I, my thing is, uh, he, he's, I can't even, I can't even go. I don't, I don't want to go down this road. We'll be talking about LeBron for, for yeah. I mean, Are you sure? the whole time. Okay. okay. No, we're, you got rigs here. You I, was sure you're I, 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 I you do have the basketball, basketball buddy. You can bounce it off <laughs> me if you want. <laughs> Let's hash All right. this thing out. Let's move on to something you can speak to, uh, sort of, because you're like a political expert or some bullshit. This Trump. You always introduce it like that. Yeah, well, I, you know, I like to undermine you before you talk. You know? Right, okay. <laughs> the Trump yearbook situation. These guys, uh, all these kids had Trump shirts on, and the high school photoshopped it out of their yearbook pictures. Big to-do, First Amendment, I'm sure, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, it's blah, one of those blah. things everybody gets so riled up about. My, my whole focus on it is, like, how dumb is this Photoshop crew or team that was like, yeah, we're going to take them out, expecting yeah. it not to be a huge thing? Yeah. Like, anyone that wears a Trump shirt or that guy that wore the fucking vest, is to gonna, their oh. yearbook picture. Like when you're in high school, the yearbook picture is like, big that's deal. a big day. You're if, like yeah. ready if you, to go. Yeah, if you, you're wearing that for a reason, because you're like, I want you to You cannot rep, wait until it Trump. comes out. You're yes. like, everyone's going to scroll to my yes. pick. Trump, big Trump person, whatever. Like <laughs> you if, if, if you that Photoshop out. the fucking Nike swoosh out, I'm not going to notice because I don't even right. know what I'm wearing. But yeah. if I wore, Trump, if I made a political the guy, statement. Right. The guys are in their photo, like, you know, like yeah. fucking Trump, big Trump guy. And that's really the story for me. I don't care who you wear a Hillary shirt, you wear a Trump shirt, you're an asshole. Oh yeah. yeah, like I'm gonna, totally. I'm gonna wear my guy, Trump I sort of agree with that. I, I don't like the Photoshop today. because I like people who like Trump. I don't like Trump, but I want those people to be identified later on when things are going horribly. So you can be like, that's a Trump person. Fuck that. Got guy. it. Like the Photoshop's actually gonna help them. In the exactly. Water. I want them to keep that Trump stuff on them so you can identify the assholes later. Or on. you can that. also get away with it if the guy would have photoshopped like really funny, inappropriate shit out of their shirts. Yeah, to just. Right, then it would have been like, oh, it's like kind of practical, a guy's an idiot. But when you do that, it's like, oh, it's censorship, first of all. It would have been funnier. Typical, like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm, it's look, just a I'm looking at the picture right now. The one fat kid is just hilarious. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's got, he's the, got a terrible haircut, the, he's got like a double chin. The guy like, below, though, he had like a crazy, like, hyphenated name and then he's got the vest and then he goes on Fox and is like talking about all this thing. It was Yo, the worst. It's like, bro, you're in high school. Yeah, yeah. Okay? You, you can't have opinions on anything. Shit. Right, no. that's the all thing. All you should be doing is trying to get that hand job. You don't know anything. That's why I tell Robbie all the time. Robbie's 18. I'm like, you're too young to know anything. Robbie weirds me out. Robbie's like 18 going on like 35 well, Robbie, in a weird way. Robbie's yeah. 18 and he talked to me about Guns N' Roses albums. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what the I mean, fuck? When, when, when was he born? Like 98? He might be touching 2000. And he's Dude, fucking, he, and he was, he loves, his favorite movie ever is from 1976. Yeah. That's a weird, that's a weird move. <laughs> he was, Imagine if my favorite movie was from like 1955. Yeah. Dude, like, he what was, is going on here? You were saying the other day when Dave started blogging, Rob was like four. <laughs> that's sick. Serious Steve calls in, he's 15 years old, he calls up. Yeah. And he's only like, a, we're, we like make fun of him all the time. Like you're 15 and, and he's like two minutes older. Robbie's like two minutes older than him. Yeah, it's, it's like weird. people's. Robbie, you weird me out, man, wherever you are. You're yeah. creepy. Fuck. You're a creepy Psychopath. little weird kid. Uh, keep it moving politically. <laughs> Dennis Rodman, Dennis Rodman, our international ambassador, is back in North Korea hanging out with his boy Kim Jong. He's on a mission. I don't know what that means, but he tweeted that he's back. And shout out to his sponsor, Potcoin, which is like a Bitcoin for weed online. Uh, so. Shout out to them for sponsoring his international mystery mission. I think Rodman can just do whatever he wants, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Does anybody care? Is anybody going to stop him? Is anybody? It's like we, he's. This thing gets bit, like way less attention. I feel like than it should. The Rodman is like uh, boys with North Korea. It is. It needs a thirty for thirty. It needs a barstool documentary. But everyone's it's like, it's like, what? Why is the dude? Whatever witchcraft those two people were into, it's like just. But it does. It does speak volumes. Sure. It it's does, like that's fine. It does speak volumes that 
Dennis Rodman can go to North Korea and everyone's just like, yeah, okay, that it makes fits. sense. That yeah, fits. Like, that's crazy. That, that was his trajectory. I guess it makes sense. But the fact that he's even still alive and around and doing things is crazy enough. Well, if, yeah, he should absolutely be dead. That's yes. Upset City. I mean, when you look back on things, like, if you look back on Trump a long time ago, you'd be like, that guy's going to be president one day? Like, no way. You right. look back on Rodman in his fucking wedding dress with Carmen Electra and you were like, this guy's going to go hang out with a dictatorship in, in North Korea. You'd be like... Okay. okay. Yeah, that right. Nothing's off the table with Rodman. Right. Nothing's yeah. off the table. And it's the Tyson zone. It's wild that the Rodman thing is totally fine and very accepting. Meanwhile, North Korea is like, we're going to nuke Manhattan. <laughs> like, we're Nobody like, they're, the college kid thing's a horrible situation. All this horrible stuff's coming out. We're like, yeah, have Rodman. But like, it's you guys funny. can be boys. It's funny. Like your little it's weed funny. Bitcoin. Sure. It's just like funny, funny and cool and weird. That's totally later, the that's North acceptable. Korea joke is probably going to bite us in the ass. But until then, I plan on laughing about yes. it. Yep. That's fine. That's what I do. Uh, Danica Patrick. Not good. She uh, was getting booed. First of all, how do you even get like booed? Where were they? How do you get like booed in NASCAR? She was like walking Kai, down the they track. They were in a car. Just like uh, driving, like at an event, or this was just like out in public. Yeah, I think she got. It out looked of like the they were uh, like near the pit area or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, that just doesn't even compute. The people to were me. like yelling through like the fence or booing through like the fence. I feel like, and she like walked over she, the fence. She walks over and she's like, "I'm a person. I have feelings, and you hurt my feelings when you yeah. boo me." Oh no, I get it. That was. Uh, it hurts my feelings. I'm a fucking person. You know what I mean? I'm a person too. I have feelings. When you boo me, it hurts my feelings. Look. At the whole point of booing is to hurt somebody's feelings. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. We're hurting You're not fucking booing somebody. As a so. boo connoisseur, it was a weak boo. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it wasn't even a good boo. Oh, yeah. right. And she's like, what the fuck? It could have like, been a lot worse. Dad. Dog yeah, shit like, boo. Yeah, you can't overreact to that type of boo with that. Like, if you're going to boo, that's one. But it was like, boo, and she <laughs> fucking turned into the lady from The Exorcist. Yeah. And just freaked the fuck out. And just out. walked over to him and was like, you're accomplishing exactly what you yeah, want hey, to accomplish. Congratulations. No fucking kidding. Right. That's why I'm booing you to your face. There's also just some level of like, <laughs> you're, the, you're the girl. You're, you're the, yeah. the Jackie Robinson of chicks for NASCAR. You got to like have the thickest skin possible. Because yeah. it's just, there's going to be the people who are like, oh, chicks can't handle it. Is this the first time she's ever been booed? Can't be. I exactly. Mean, everybody's been booed. Right. So like, for her to react this way is insane. Yeah, we were, we were, this kind of reminds me a little bit of a story of our friend Francis where we were talking the other day about how like people were very rarely like, people shit on us online all the time. Mm -hmm. They're very rarely mean to us in public. He got, he basically got booed in public. He basically got booed at a bar where a guy was like, fire Francis. And Francis was like, what the hell? That's not very nice. And then the guy like, he backed away from him chanting, fire Francis. Doing this. <laughs> he backs up doing this. I heard out of the bar. Right. Out of the bar. Just do, 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 and out. Like, like that's I heard really he said funny. something to the effect of like, when are you going to stop cashing checks from those yes, guys? Like, like, when are you going to give the money back? <laughs> yep, so bad. that's exactly what it was. And then he and then he walked out, double flip, <laughs> fire Francis. That's chair. very I mean, but very funny. We got to hire that guy. I was going to say I can't encourage the trolls, but that's awesome. No, like, like, don't do that to anybody except Francis, but do it to Francis all the time. Brutal that's move, but great. as Francis told it to us, clearly distraught, we were all like, that's, I mean, that's like, hilarious. That's the funniest yeah. thing I've heard all day. And clearly it worked. <laughs> it worked very well. Yeah, it was great. So, you know, I mean, a personal kind of boo chant at somebody, double flip, you know, it's mean, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Getting booed in a bar is awesome. <laughs> as a boo guy, I love that. Movie. In a bar, like up in Maine or something. Just <laughs> oh, that was the other thing. The, he was like... He, he told the story to Nardini, and she was like, well, you were in Maine, of course. That's, fucking, <laughs> that's what happens in Maine. Right, like, what'd you expect? Weirdos. You're at a shit bar oh, in Maine. The guy backing out of the bar, that just gets me every <laughs> single time. Every single time. Oh, it's pretty good. Uh, last story, this feminist chick goes viral. She uh, tweeted, she took all the tank tops that said NASA with a NASA logo. She moved them from the boy section to the girl section, and she tweeted, like, did I move the tank tops from the girl I section to the boy section? Yes, I did. And it got, like... Riggs type of retweets. Everyone's whoa, going, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. Nah, let's, let's, let's I had like 20 or 30,000 retweets. That's like. Come on. Uh, fraction of Her me. being like, <laughs> the way she phrased her tweet, that's the thing that makes me, yes. made me the most angry. Yes. Did I do this? Yeah, I sure did. It's right, like, that was like her, her like mic like, drop. Do it, if you're going to do something like that, like do it in silence and then maybe people will catch on to it, which they wouldn't because it didn't look bad out of place anyway. But for her to be like, oh, I'm the best. Look at me doing So this. I didn't get it. I, like, I literally didn't get it. I saw the first original tweet. I was like, and then I was glad to go down and see that basically everyone was like, Talking her dick over it, like you're. Well, that she got like big, big buried by Walmart or Target or whatever it was, and they were like, yeah, "Oh, we really? Actually yeah, there was like... a response tweet." Oh, okay, got it, got it. Right, I, they I were like, "No, part. no, they I were like, the story. yeah, no, we also sell and have been selling women's NASA stuff as well. Oh, Here's all well, the then links." You're a real right, asshole. and so she just <laughs> it got like, it wrong. Yeah, right. It was like you're just wrong, and like that doesn't 
mean anything. It, it's doing? like actually we were sold out because all the girls bought all of our nasty. Yeah, yeah. That's we're, why so, we so we're so yeah. pro feminist that we've been selling this shit out. What an asshole that yeah. chick is. Painting NASA on every you know young girl across the country. I mean, uh, who's can you imagine who's taking NASA gear anyway? Can you imagine taking time out of your NASA. day like I'm while you're grocery shopping like I'm gonna move these clothes. I'm gonna move these clothes <laughs> to the other side <laughs> of the building insane. for pretty much no reason. There is nothing I care about at all enough in this world to be like I'm gonna proactively rearrange some I fucking even, department stuff. I don't even go out and like acquire my own clothes. I just have them get delivered to my apartment. Yeah, I'm like, four club, baby. I'm definitely not going to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not going to fuck with somebody else's clothes. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's it. You, what do you guys got coming up? The U.S. Open? U.S. Open weekend? week. U.S. Open yep. is this week. A couple week. days, starts Thursday? Starts Thursday, um, yep. out in Wisconsin. You guys going to do some shit or what? Just yeah. It? Oh, are we going to set up this bar? Are we trying to do this? Yeah, so we're uh, in the process of we're going to try to do a Saturday watch party. Okay. We're going to find a bar in New York City. Hopefully there's enough people to join us. We're going to put out the details probably in the next day or two. Yep. But we're going to find a bar. We're going to do a Saturday like all-day watch party, that type of thing. Uh, get after it. U.S. Open's great because... They set it up hard as fuck. It's the hardest tournament, so people hit horrific shots and get really rattled, and it reminds you of, you know, playing, I get down with, that. playing with your boys. I feel like that uh, also lends itself to, like, meltdowns. Totally. Yes. I love a good Big meltdown. Time. You're, you're up, like, six clubs. strokes in the final round. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate when, it, when it's, like, you know, you're, like, 20 under. I'm like, I don't fucking care yeah, about Yeah, the U.S. Exactly. Open is not yeah. that whatsoever. No, the U.S. Open is, like, where somebody might win it over par. All right, I'll, I'll like probably not watch that. I was going to say, okay. you were definitely going to lie right yeah. there. Like, Are you considered lying? You're like, oh, I'm going to tune in. I'm fine. What I was going to say is I will tune in for like if there's like a potential sudden death situation. Okay. Gotcha. And then I'll come on your show and discuss it much like your basketball analysis. Yeah. Was yeah. yeah. I think you're now the third leg of mixed it. My basketball, I'll be honest, my basketball was kind of fuego today, I felt like. <laughs> I, like my couple things I came in with, like, kind of hit. Hey, Kevin, hey, Kevin, that Kevin Durant can score, can he? <laughs> People right. like that one. The place was buzzing. All right, that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow.